What can theories of learning teach us about constructing effective experiential learning? The theories and vision behind experiential learning can help guide educators and mentors in the design, delivery, and assessment of student learning through structured experience. Knowledge of educational theories that touch upon the processes of learning through experience in combination with an educator's understanding of the nature of disciplinary or vocational theories and practices can help to inform the creation of transformative experiential learning opportunities. As you consider the theories of experiential learning, think as well about how learning is structured in your discipline. Consider how essential knowledge, skills, and habits of mind are intentionally introduced, fostered, and developed throughout a student's program of study. Imagine the ways in which opportunities to engage in authentic, applied practice through some form of experiential education would contribute well to student learning at specific points in their program of study. One aspect of this course that is uh, really important is the, the idea of critical reflection that we ask students to engage in. And this is a process that we use uh, as, for, as both a formative and a summative uh, feature of the class. And in terms of uh, experiential learning theory, reflection is a key component of, of that process. The danger with thinking that failing is, is a problem is, is twofold. One is um, failing is a learning opportunity. You get to see, okay, I tried something, it didn't work. Now I need to try something different. Doesn't mean that the different thing you try will work, but recognizing what you're doing is not good enough and changing it and thinking about why I need to change it is definitely a valuable learning opportunity. Even that the teachers try to emulate uh, an environment, a job environment, you know, the, the experiential learning is the real life. You have a real boss, <laughs> you will have real co-workers, you have the real problems. So you need to be really responsible responsible and focus on what are you doing and you need to do your best because that is going to be a reference in the future for you. It's an employer's reference. It helps you understand what you like and what you don't like so having a bad experience in, in it is not a bad thing. It's, it really helps you to kind of pinpoint where you want to be in the next couple of years and what you really want to do in your career. So it really opens your eyes to the world of work and what opportunities are out there and what you really want to do and really, what you really don't want to do. So regardless of the experience that you have, it's a really important experience overall. The way that it encourages practice and development and, and, and continuity and sticking with something. It's, uh, I think that a lot of times we're, there's a lot of, of things available to us right now that allow for instant gratification or instant success and experiential learning gives us an opportunity, a platform, and a, and a kind of a rubric for, for that ingrained practice and building that into how we approach any problem or an assignment or a challenge. It's something that encourages repetition, but, but building on that each time. And I, I feel like that's a really um, important piece, uh, especially given the, uh, like I said, the, the tendency to, to want to have that immediacy or instant gratification in terms of our our success, those deeper achievements, those more meaningful achievements are the ones that will, will come through that uh, long committed process.